As educators, we talk a lot about critical thinking. It's something that all schools claim to support and something that happens within any self-respecting teacher's classroom. The problem is we all have a slightly different definition about what being a critical thinker means. And this can create problems when it comes to establishing consensus about the kind of skills we're trying to develop as a faculty. It also means that it's difficult for students themselves to measure their progress as they become effective critical thinkers. We've created a clear, practicable and measurable definition of critical thinking. It is this. Critical thinking means to confront rather than confirm your biases and assumptions about the world. We believe that this process should take place within real world situations, which is why we prefer the term authentic critical thinking or ACT. ACT means helping your students to develop the courage and the skills to recognise when their understanding about the world is skewed or insufficient and to seek to improve uh, and develop their knowledge. As soon as you adopt this definition as one of your key pedagogical objectives, it means that you can create a continuum of learning running all the way through your school from primary to senior years and draw on all of your subject teachers to help promote this aim. Turning your students into nuanced, sophisticated and open-minded knowers about the world whose approach to knowledge is based on humility rather than dogma.